Can we all stretch our hands in front? I prophesy upon your hands. The month of February, your harvest shall look for you. All that is yours shall look for you. From the north and the south and the east and the west. I call it dawn in Jesus' name. Leave the bottle of oil. He suffered no man to do them wrong. He rebuked kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. Psalm 105, verse 12 to 15. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. The oil in your hand, I prophesy that this oil will communicate the anointing of God upon your life. Already the Bible says we have an unction from the Holy One. First John chapter 2 verse 20. And we know all things. And it said in verse 28 that the anointing that you have abided in you, the anointing. So we already have the anointing by the Holy Ghost. This is a seal. A seal of what is there. Every born again child of God, you say you have an unction. First John 2.20. I wonder why it's taking you a long time to put it on the screen. You have an unction from the Holy One. And then verse 28. But the anointing. 27. But the anointing which you have received of him abided in you. So there is an anointing you have received of him that is abiding. This is to seal and confirm that it is there. Now listen to this. This is where I'm going. He said, touch not my anointed. The only time you can be touched is when you have not been anointed. And if you are the one who anointed yourself, but if not, if his anointing abided in you, you are a touch not. You are a no-go area. Let this reality down on you. Anoint your house. Anoint your street. Anoint your car. Anoint your office. Anoint your workplace. Anoint your children. The only time you can be touched is when? When you have not been anointed. But this anointing makes you untouchable, unharmable, indestructible. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Take a little of that oil in your hands.